This is a list of early microcomputers sold to hobbyists and developers. These microcomputers were often sold as DIY kits or pre built machines in relatively small numbers in the mid 1970s. These systems were primarily used for teaching the use of microprocessors and supporting peripheral devices, and unlike home computers, were rarely used with pre written application software. Most early micros came without alphanumeric keyboards or displays, which had to be provided by the user. RAM was quite small in the unexpanded systems, a few hundred bytes to a few kilobytes. By 1976, the number of pre-assembled machines was growing, and the 1977 introduction of the Trinity of Commodore PET, TRS-80 and Apple II generally marks the end of the early microcomputer era, and the advent of the consumer home computer era that followed. <laughs> Discrete logic Before the advent of microprocessors, it was possible to build small computers using small-scale integrated circuits ICs, where each IC contained only a few logic gates or flip-flops. The KENBAK-1 used small-scale integration transistor-transistor logic TTL ICs and had 256 bytes of memory. It was priced at US$750 and sold only 40 units. Datapoint 2200 shipped 1971 was the first machine designed to use a microprocessor, but when Intel could not deliver the 8008 in time, they released the machine using discrete logic. The EDUC-8 was an Electronics Australia magazine project describing a computer built from TTLICs. <laughs> Test and development machines As microprocessors were developed, companies often released simple development systems to bootstrap the use of the processor. These systems were often converted by hobbyists into complete computer systems. Intel's Intellic computers were a series of early microcomputers Intel produced starting in the 1970s as a development platform for their processors. Topic. Kits For some time the microcomputer world was dominated by systems delivered in kit form. As most machines of the era were sold in small numbers, there was no reason to invest in automated manufacturing systems, leaving the final assembly to manual labor. Kits took advantage of this by offering the system at a low price point, and relying on the user to complete the expensive part, the final assembly. Kits were popular between 1975, with the introduction of the famous Altair 8800, but as sales volumes increased, kits became less common. The introduction of useful fully assembled machines in 1977 led to the rapid disappearance of kit systems for most users. The famed ZX81 is among the last of the large sellers in the kit market. Some magazines published plans and printed circuit board layouts from which a reader could in principle duplicate the project, although usually commercially made boards could be ordered to expedite assembly. Other kits varied from etched, drilled, printed circuit boards and a parts list to packages containing cases, power supplies, and all interconnections. All kits required significant assembly by the user. Topic. Complete microcomputers A number of complete microcomputers were offered even before kits became popular, dating to as far back as 1973. 
For some time there was a major market for assembled versions of the Altair 8800, a market that grew significantly through the late 1970s and into the early 1980s. The introduction of three computers aimed at personal users in 1977, the Radio Shack TRS-80, Apple II, and Commodore PET, significantly changed the market and led to the home computer revolution. Microsystems International's CPS-1, using a locally produced microprocessor based on the design of the Intel 4004. First built in 1972, a small number shipped in early 1973. Micro N 1973 was awarded the title of the first personal computer using a microprocessor by a panel at the Computer History Museum in 1986. The museum website does not have any material on the CPS-1. Sword Computer Corporation's SMP8008, based on the Intel 8008, debuted in early 1973. It was followed by the SMP80X, debuted in May 1974, which used the Intel 8080. MCM70 was a 1974 Intel 8008 based design, primarily designed to run APL. According to the IEEE Annals of Computer History, the MCM-70 is the earliest commercial, non-kit personal computer. IBM 5100 was possibly the first portable microcomputer. Most people think the famous IBM PC the 5150 was IBM's first micro but there were a number of microcomputer models released by IBM from 1975. Processor Technologies Sol 20, offered both as kit and assembled, but the vast majority were sold assembled. ECD Micromind, introduced 1977 MOS Technology 6512 6502 with external clock. Prototypes only. MPT8080 Microtutor, an Intel 8080-based microprocessor trainer introduced 1977. As recently as 2008, it remained in academic use. As of 2011, the MPT-8080 was still available for sale. Tesla PMI-80 Ohio Scientific Model 500, 1978, 6502 Exidy Sorcerer, 1978, Z80 Explorer, 85 8085, 1979 Topic. See also List of home computers List of home computers by video hardware Microprocessor Development Board Microcomputer Associates, Incorporated.